y'all, this is Mrs. D back with another video, and today we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing integers. So let's go ahead and get started. When we're multiplying or dividing integers, the first thing we want to do is check our sign and ask if they're the same sign or different signs. So the first step in multiplying and dividing integers is actually the exact same as when we're adding and subtracting integers. So we want to first find out if they have the same sign or different signs. The same sign means that both numbers in our problem are positive or both numbers are negative. Different signs means that one is positive and one is negative. Now in all of these examples we're multiplying but during the process here we're going to multiply and divide. So for the second step, let's see what we do when we have the same sign. So if we have the same sign, we're going to solve by either multiplying or dividing the numbers, and then our answer is positive every single time. So let's look at an example with the same sign when we're multiplying. So here I have 4 times 5. They're both positive, they have the same sign. So four times five is 20. Because they have the same sign, my answer is positive. Same thing here, negative four times negative five. Four times five is 20. They have the same sign, so my answer is still negative. I'm sorry. <laughs> they have the same sign, so my answer is positive. Let's look at a couple of division problems. 20 divided by 5. Well, 20 divided by 5 is 4. They have the same sign, so my answer is positive. Negative 20 divided by negative 5 is also 4, and because they have the same sign, my answer is still positive. So in any situation when you're multiplying or dividing, you just want to find out if they're the same sign or different signs. If they're the same sign, your answer is positive. So if they have different signs, we're still going to solve by multiplying or dividing, and then this time the answer is going to be negative. So let's look at a couple of examples for this situation. Here I have a negative 4 times 5. Well, 4 times 5 is 20, and because they're different signs, one's negative and one's positive, my answer is going to be a negative. For the next one I have 4 times a negative 5. Again, 4 times 5 is 20. A positive times a negative is a negative. Now let's look at when we're dividing with different signs. So here I have 20 divided by negative 5. Well, these have different signs. One's positive and one's negative. 20 divided by 5 is 4, and a positive divided by a negative is a negative. Same situation here. Negative 20 divided by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4, and a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So that's really all there is to it. So let's go ahead and recap our steps. First, we're going to check our signs and ask if they're the same sign or different signs. Second, if they're the same sign, we're going to solve by multiplying or dividing, and then the answer is going to be positive. Third, if they have different signs, we're going to solve by multiplying or dividing, and the answer this time is negative. I hope that this video helped you out. If you need to watch it a couple of more times, you can. Really, multiplying and dividing integers is actually easier than adding and subtracting them. So if you need to go back and watch the adding and subtracting integer video, feel free to do that as well. If you still have questions, be ready to ask me a specific question so I can help you out. This is Mrs. D signing off. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.